All right, so now notice, okay, there's this wave that's going across here. Let me make the wave a little bigger so you can see it. That wave going across there, that's the sound that this function generator, this box is making. So it's saying, hey, I want you to sing this one particular note. And as I change the frequency, it changed the wave, okay? Just like I did yesterday with the beats, all right? And so I'm going to send this signal out to the oscilloscope, but I'm also sending that signal out to this power amplifier hooked up to that speaker over there. Okay, you can't do this with a normal speaker. It's got to be a, like, that's a siren driver, so like you, you uh, would power a, a police car siren with or, you know, a fire engine. That's what they use that for. Uh, and so the sound goes to the amplifier. The amplifier then turns the signal. So I have the amplifier turned off so it's not bothering, the sound isn't bothering you but it's still putting out the tone. If I put the amplifier on, you can hear the, what it's singing out. It's a pure sound, okay? People usually find it annoying because it's a pure tone. Now, but what I want you to do is look at this line. Notice this line is flat right now because that's the microphone line. And the microphone is saying, I'm not really hearing anything, okay? But as I turn up the speaker volume, then that line, you see the, you see the wave growing a little bit? You might have a hard time seeing it from where you're at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that, that up, turn the speaker up so that this line grows up, right? And then what I want to do is I want to turn it and I want to put both of those things in tune, right? Because what's happening is the speaker is pushing on the glass, the glass begins to vibrate a little bit, and then as it vibrates, it pushes on the microphone. So it's like having two speakers, okay? And if I have both of them in tune, then I have constructive interference and the amplitude will get much larger. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tune that speaker to the glass's natural frequency. And as I do it, what I want to do is listen for what we heard yesterday, which we heard beats yesterday where it went wobble a little bit. Because as soon as it wobbles, I know I'm almost there. I'm almost in tune. So remember, I want to make the glass sing, and I got to make it sing at just the right frequency. Otherwise, like the rod, when I when I'm not at the node, it doesn't sing. So I got to I got to tune it. All right. Okay. So now I've got it turned up, and what I want to do is I want to listen for beats, and you can also see beats on the screen because it'll wobble back and forth, just like yesterday. See how it's bouncing back and forth? All right, so notice the wave got a lot larger now. So now what we're going to do, we turn the strobe on, and what the strobe will do is give you the ability to see the glass moving back and forth. So now I'm going to turn it up a little bit, so you might want to start covering your ears. Now can you all see the, the glass is vibrating, it's shaking? Alright, you're okay.